After sitting here after a while looking at my three-point hitch rototiller, previous owner made a few mistakes. It was never designed to track straight behind the tractor. As you can see in this video, the gearbox is offset. It's not on center. It was never designed to be on center. Previous owner made it track center by adding these little pieces of pipe together and bending the uh, three-point hitch. So I'm going to have to straighten the three-point hitch, as you can see right here, how far that is out. This one's dead on. So I have to fix this. And judging how these bars up here are bent, they need to be straightened out. And we shall see. But I'm going to also going to be getting the correct pins to put on this thing too. Because you see, it's using this saddle like this. may not be wrong, it may not be right, but I'm going to probably, I'll use that way for now, but I have to get some more bolts, because like I said, the previous owner didn't take too good a care of it. As you can see, the gaskets coming out so I'm gonna have to replace the gasket and that's a different colored uh, pan on it so I'll probably have to take that off and fix that too it's a Kubota BL60C model it's actually made in France. I did notice that. But I got it my I got it moved over as you can see in this section right here. But I'm going to have to fix this thing. Yep. It means a little bit of work, but it'll be worth it. Get my rototiller working. Uh, as you can see, I'm probably going to have to be, re be replacing some tines, but I'll first get it going before I make any assertion of getting new tines for it. But she's going to need work. Hell, I put enough into her. <laughs> as you can see in my past videos. <clears throat> Mm. Yep. There's my leaky carburetor right there. I have to shut off the gas and let it run out of gas. Otherwise, she fills the bowl. I mean, fills the intake up. But enough of you guys have given me the right advice on that. But I am still looking to find another carburetor to send up to one of you guys and get it rebuilt properly. Because... The kits I've been buying online, they're expensive, and they don't work. I'll get one carburetor rebuilt, then I'll send the other one out. So I'll have a spare on the shelf. But she, she fires right up. As you can see, in this back on this thing, this little thing right here, missing. The whole shield back there is missing. Luckily, I got scrap laying around here. I got a piece of stainless steel I can cut down, and I can drill holes and put U-bolts in it. Just enough, just enough of uh, U-bolts, or even put a steel rod all the way across, and just clamp, clamp uh, with U-bolts the thing. So I'll show you the piece of stainless steel I've got. 
Some of you might recognize it for what it is. I have another piece that's probably a little bit longer than this, but that's probably what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to take and measure out at least five foot, and I'll cut it down to roughly the 10 inches that I need. We'll go from there. Oh, I just got to get more, make up some more attachments that I need. <laughs> I can't buy it because I can't afford it. I'll make it. Okay. Because I might have some work this year. A buddy of mine mentioned about taking care of uh, somebody's hunt lease. And that means tilling up food plots and planting them and bush, bush hog mowing around them so they have better alleys to shoot oh well we'll see you next time it's about six minutes on this one we'll go from there <laughs>